just finished uh, another little plane, an infill plane with a completely different shape and way of constructing. Uh, I'm very excited about this. I think this is going to be the first one in a series of planes because I'd like to explore the shape and the, uh, the method of construction. So this plane is um, directly inspired, well, I was, and I'm going to sound a bit pretentious, um, when I was uh, watching uh, something at the ballet, a uh, piece called The Statement, with very long, flowy lines, yet very powerful, bold moves. Uh, and I really liked it, so, um, and, you know, kind of during, when I saw this, uh, this ballet, um, I was uh, contemplating a new method of constructing a plane by uh, taking a piece of brass or copper, copper maybe, in this case it was brass because this plane was made from leftover materials, um, and simply bend it around a mould like this, droplet, boat-like shaped, um, and then uh, using this as a template to cut out a sole for the plane, uh, in this case brass, which you can easily cut on my bandsaw, um, and then using either small rivets uh, or uh, soldering, brazing really, um, with a silver, with a silver alloy, um, to form a plane. So that is what I did, um, and the uh, the infills here are um, ebony, small little plane. The iron is twenty eight uh, millimeters, so that is roughly comparable to a standing number one plane. Nice little plane, and the the brazing. I did this in a kiln at seven hundred degrees, so it gives you all these kinds of colors. So this is the original bronze color. I hope you can see this. This is the original bronze. Um, and this purple and, and, and black bits here uh, caused by the oxidation in the kiln and I really like this effect so I didn't, I didn't want to polish this and, and get rid of all these colours. I did polish this edge so you can, so it has to emphasise the, the bolt-like shape. I used to be interested very much in bolt building as you can probably tell. Alright, it also functions very well. There we go, nice little plane. This is just some pine. I don't want to waste any good wood on um, showing that a plane can actually plane, which I think should be fairly obvious. Nice little plane, maybe to break an edge. Yeah, a plane small apart. Well, it's sort of like a block plane, really, in terms of size. Um, the difference being, of course, that it is beveled down, just like a standard number one. Now, I'm currently making one twice as long, twice as wide, one and a half times the height of this one. So a, a fairly large plane, the equivalent of a, like a pretty big smoothing plane, um, along similar lines, not quite the same construction. I tried to do the same brazing, but the, the kiln I was using was probably too slow, so that oxidized everything and I couldn't um, get it to work properly. But there's also one thing I really like is the rear end of this. So if you can see this, this is the, uh, here you can see the brass, Sorry, the bronze sides, the brass sole, and the uh, the the Abbey infill. Really like this. Yeah, Stanley Bailey type of um, um, cap iron, and because uh, I didn't want to put a rivet in here, because that would ruin the uh, the beautiful colours. Um, and I was thinking that maybe the brass was a too low, really, and b too soft to do this. Sorry, I keep on saying brass. Of course, I mean the bronze. The bronze of the sides um, is not as tough as, uh, as a more substantial piece of steel, for example. It's fairly thin, it's only two, two millimeters. Okay, so I'll finish because I can't, I really can't stop using this little thing. I just finished it this morning. Um, wow, look at this baby. The statement. I have got to mention this, so the, 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 I'll, put, I'll post the link in the uh, uh, in the comments to the video. Um, I'll post a link to the, the, the particular um, piece I was seeing. It's called the statement, so I call this plane the statement number one because I'm, as I mentioned, I'm planning on doing a whole series of these. All right. Thanks for watching again. Thank you. Bye.